Okay, we're starting off with the Midwest region here. Obviously, I have Kentucky going into the Final Four, so whatever. Um, don't really need to explain that. Who's going to stop them? Um, one of the games has already taken place. Obviously, Manhattan lost to Hampton. I actually picked Manhattan to win that game, as you can see the X right there. Um, reason being, I know, this, the crazy thing is, is I've always known the lo team with the losing record always seems to win these play-in games. They have such a great record in them. But I picked Manhattan for the simple fact that Steve Masiello is their coach, and I thought he's a great coach. And I just couldn't see him losing to having his team lose to a team like Hampton. But it happened, so I got that wrong. Um, Purdue over Cincinnati. I just think Purdue is kind of hot right now. Cincinnati is, I don't know, Cincinnati. I'm one of the very few people, I think, to have picked West Virginia over Buffalo. I think if Juwan Statton's playing, West Virginia's got it locked down. Um, Buffalo could very well in, win this game. I'm not discounting that at all. But I just think uh, West Virginia has the athletes, and uh, I think they're going to be able to get it done, especially with the experience that Bob Huggins has in the NCAA tournament. So um, Maryland over Valparaiso, um, they're just better overall. I actually have Butler over Texas. I do think this will be a close game. That could go either way, but I'm going with Butler here. Um, usually whenever they lose, uh, they come back big in their next game and get a win. So that's what I'm thinking here. Texas is kind of inconsistent. Rick Barnes is the kind of coach similar to Tom Crean in that he doesn't get as much out of his talent as he should. Um, then we've got Notre Dame over Northeastern here. Um, pretty simple. Notre Dame just a better team. Wichita State over Indiana. A lot of people are saying uh, Indiana. Some people are saying that actually. Um, some people are saying Wichita State. I'm one of those that think Wichita State. I think their defense is really good, and I think they're going to be able to disrupt the passing lanes, and I think they're going to be able to stop Indiana. And I think Indiana is going to have a hard time keeping Wichita State from getting to the bucket, from getting good shots. Um, Wichita State is just, you know, I, I just don't think Indiana can stop them, especially with how bad their defense has been. Then Kansas over New Mexico State, but uh, then. Kentucky over Purdue, no reason to explain that. Um, Maryland over West Virginia. Um, then we've got Notre Dame over Butler. I don't think Butler can handle Notre Dame. Notre Dame's the best team in the state of Indiana. And then I actually have Wichita State over Kansas, and the reason for that is, is Wichita State has been wanting a piece of Kansas for a long time. Wichita State fans have been wanting them. And Kansas, for what I've been hearing, has refused to schedule them. Um, I don't. I think they might think that's a loss right there. So I'm going to go with Wichita State. I think they're going to be motivated to get that win. And then we've got Kentucky over Maryland. And then I've got Notre Dame over Wichita State. I think Notre Dame has too much for Wichita State. I think Wichita State can get the win over Kansas because I think, in my honest opinion, I think Kansas is the weakest two seed. If you've seen how they played this year, they've lost eight games. And some of those games, even the ones that they've won, they have not looked real good. And they don't have a lot of experience, a lot of a very young team. And so I think a senior-laden team like Wichita State can knock them off. And then uh, that's when Wichita State's not going to be able to get through Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame's just too talented for them. Kentucky and Notre Dame, uh, Kentucky. That's pretty much, it's pretty simple right there.